Hey guys, welcome back. We frequently use CSV files to import data, perform EDA, and develop machine learning models. Whereas in Excel, we perform statistical analysis and only able to fit linear regressor model. But what if we can run machine learning model in Excel without putting a single line of code? Yes, it is possible. This is a quick overview video in which we will discuss about simple machine learning for sheets. Let's get started. Recently, Google introduced simple machine learning add-ons for Google Sheets that help you to access machine learning in Google Sheets without writing a piece of code. Machine learning for Sheets is developed by TensorFlow team with idea of anyone, even people without programming or ML expertise can experiment and apply some of the power of machine learning to their data in Google Sheets with just a few clicks. Like consider an example, a small manufacturer can analyze past sales and price history and then they price the product accordingly by using the power of ML. ML for sheet uses TensorFlow Decision Forest as a machine learning algorithm. Whereas it run on your browser, so your data never share with others. It's secure in your Google Sheet. And the model you trained is saved in your Google Drive. Let's understand it in a bit details by considering a few examples. Before that, first install the add-ons. As usual, we do in Excel. Click on extension. On the bottom, you see a simple ML for sheet. If it is not visible, click on add-ons. Search for simple ML for sheet. Click on it. Click on install. Click on continue. Select email for sign in and give permission for access. And that's it. Simple ML for sheet is installed. Let's consider a small data set on Penguin and its species details where it contained data on bill, flipper, sex, weights, and species it belongs. Here you see we have some value is missing in species column and also some are missing in sex column as well. Let's predict this missing value. To apply ML on sheet, click on extension, click on simple ML for sheet and click on start. Once click, a small screen appear on right hand side where you can select multiple options and experiment with ML. First, it asks, what do you want to do? It gives multiple options like predict value, spot abnormalities, etc. Currently, we are predicting value, so select that option. After that, select a column with missing values or you may also call it as selecting target column. Let's say we select a species column as a target column. You can also select or deselect column in source column option. Suppose you want to drop any column in prediction. Just deselect it and it won't consider in model. Here we didn't get an option to select or deselect a species column because we already declare it as target column. Here we also get an option to select any specific algorithm for machine learning. Currently it offer only three. Gradient boosted tree, random forest and decision tree. I think that's a lot for a simple machine learning. Let's say we want to select random forest as an algorithm. You can select amount of details you want with the prediction value. Like only prediction value I need or I need a prediction value with confidence interval or prediction value with other details. Okay, let's say I want value with confidence interval. Once we are done with the selection, click on predict. 
Here it also display internal steps it perform while prediction. You see we get the prediction result for species column and their corresponding confidence value as well. Like for prediction of a species to be gained to is 100% confidence. We can also do same prediction for missing value of sex column. Select sex column as a target variable. Now you can select and deselect all column except sex column. And lastly, select gradient boosted tree as the algorithm. And click on predict. Here you see we get the predicted sex value and its confidence. Just for information, it automatically consider all rows with target value as training data. Whereas it consider all rows with missing target value as a testing data. That's why we get result only for empty species row. Let's take another example to spot abnormal values in data. Consider a data set on Abelon where we determine the age of Abelon by considering the diameter, height, weight, sex and counting the number of rings it has. Let's spot the abnormalities in ring count. First open the simple ML for sheet. Now select the option spot abnormal value. Select the target column as a ring. Leave the source column as it is. Consider the gradient boosted tree as algorithm. Click on spot abnormal value. Here you see we get two column as a result. One is a prediction abnormality score ranging from 0 to 1. 0 for most normal and 1 for most abnormal. Second is prediction most likely which tells you most likely to be a value is. Sort the sheet with abnormality score. Here you see we get abnormality score close to 1 for 29 rings. But according to prediction most likely it might supposed to be 12 or 13. That means this abalone is very old but it look much younger. There is some advanced feature is also there which allow you to manually train, test and evaluate model performance and then productionize it. Let's manually train a model without writing a piece of code. Consider our previous penguin dataset for this. Open simple ML add-on. From advanced option, select train model. Define a model name. Let's say ML model penguin. Select the target label as a species and leave other parameter as it is. Now click on train to train the model. Our model trained successfully. Let's make a prediction according to our trained model. I just select a few random rows and copied them into a new sheet. Run prediction on it. Select option prediction with model. Select model for prediction. In our case ML model penguin. And for result view. Let's say we want value and details. Now click on predict. You see we get the prediction value that exactly match the original value. You also get some extra details column which actually give confidence value to be that predicted value. Like prediction to be gen 2 is 99.8% whereas prediction to be others is 0.1% each. You can also evaluate the model as well. Just click on the evaluate model in the advanced option. Select the model for evaluation and click evaluate. Here it generate a small summary of your model which contain accuracy, error rate, confusion matrix, ROC curve, precision recall plot and many more. You can understand what is inside a model as well. Select the option to understand the model. Select the model to be understand and check the box to generate a summary or details while considering this data.
click on understand to generate the details we get a result in a pop-up window in summary we get information about the input features and target column of the model in quality tab we get the evaluation matrix about the model like accuracy loss error rate confusion table etc dataset tab give details about input features of the model like number of record type of data that is numerical or categorical data etc and also give statistical details on each column of the data in the variable importance tab we get to understand how each feature impacts the model for example the feature variable importance mean decrease in accuracy indicate how much the quality of model would drop if the feature was removed the feature with highest feature importance are the most important to the models in prediction tab we see how the prediction of model is impacted by different feature value where each feature is selected and plotted according to their prediction in plot model tab we see a representation of model but it only available for decision tree model it also give the option to manage the models like view them in drive rename it delete it etc you can also export the model as well select option export a model select the model which you want to export select the destination currently it support only google collab click on export once you click on the export the export code is generated with the selected model name which allow you to use its model in collab for external prediction open the collab copy the script and paste it into the collab execute the cell it takes some time to install all dependencies and load the model as well actually all model are stored in drive so it also ask for drive permission to access the trained model here you see we get the predicted result of our example now you can simply replace the example and put actual data to predict on it that's all from my side i hope everything is clear to you and you got a basic understanding of ml in sheet for queries or any doubt please leave a comment below see you in next video